Hey, howdy everybody, welcome. Karmanyaka, a book about itself. I love ancient skills. Super hyped to finally hear the album that they've got. So let's get into this. I don't want to waste any more time. Let me check this out. Okay, different vibe from the EP already. There's some atmosphere. Ooh! I love this. It's doing more of my favorite chord thing. We go from like a one to a six. I will forever love that. Where's the beat, bro? Another thing they're they're doing is uh, they're doing and they did, they did this in the beginning too, but it was in a different key I think. This like a minor one to like a flat major two. It's gorgeous. This is beautiful! <laughs> Great first track. Oh boy. About to get funky. That's a contortionist kind of style chord. He said loud, but then he got quieter. Nice. I liked the first track better. That was so fun, though. They're doing that one six chord progression I said I love so much. It's very different from Ancient Skills, but oh, very jazzy chord. Again, it feels contortionist. It's very different from Ancient Skills, but it's so great. I love this chorus. I'm sorry. Really interesting. Yeah, those chords are kind of all over the place. So it sounds like... It's really weird because this is usually like used as a chord progression when you're going to the one chord. Like a bum 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 to like a major one, but in this key it's going to a six. So then this becomes a major four in a minor key. Four, five, six, then to the one. What is that, like Mario or something? They have been killing it with the 1-6 chord progressions, and we have it again here. There's silence, their eyes. I don't know if those are the right notes or whatever that I'm singing, but I know the chords are right, so I don't care. I'm gonna sing whatever I want because it's my piano. It's the little, the little, um, uh, it's not, it's not going to show up on the microphone. You're not going to be able to hear when I sing it, but it's like little, like getting louder, getting softer. It's just going to sound weird on the mic because I have a compressor that makes everything almost the same volume. So this little part, when he's like, there and he's like getting louder and softer with his little like stresses on certain notes. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Oh. oh, come on, pop off. You've earned it. Let's go. <laughs> yes, I am a huge sucker for those bendies. Love Beautithal. Tambourine. Oh my goodness, this is the best song so far. Excuse me, how are we gonna go from that to that? Wow. The reason it's crazy is because it goes from this key to this key. These are tritones. Tritone. They're one of the farthest related keys you can possibly have. I'm sorry if my weird noises are like weird, but my son likes when I when I make weird noises, so I've gotten better at making weird noises. A professional weird noisemaker at this point uh and it just kind of slips out sometimes so deal with it i thought you could all fold i thought you could blah, 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 blah. i thought you could only fold something seven times i ruined the joke because i messed it up see now it's a dad joke back to a six one chord progression it just hits every time Oh man! Dance. Some of these songs I feel are kind of on the level of contortionist for me, where it's it's good, but it doesn't really stick for me, and I I don't really remember it. So I listen to the album, and it just kind of goes over my head, and I'm just like, yeah, it's good, but I remember none of it. Um, that's kind of how some of these songs have been. The Ancient Skills EP, every song was a banger and very memorable. But for some reason, some of the songs on this aren't hitting, but then some really, really are. And this could be just a case of, it's my first time listening to it, it's going to take me a little bit to get. Could be a grower. But I'm getting just sort of that same kind of feeling that I had when listening to, like, Exoplanet or Clairvoyance. Mm, jazz chord. I'm sorry. I think I just had an epiphany about maybe what I what I don't like about Contortionist and some some of this record. Ultimately, I think I think this is this is better than both Exoplanet and Clairvoyant so far. But I think the thing that gets me the most is that while these melodies are good, the rhythm of it is very kind of floaty and all over the place, and it's more instrumental focused with the vocals acting as a sort of chord enhancer or something on top of it, rather than being sort of more melodic and rhythmic in their own right. Sometimes they are rhythmic, but I like rhythms that are much more ingrained with the song in the vocals, instead of ones that are just like bum, bum. Da 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 and while that that while that's good it's just not something that i'm big into and i think that's why i don't really like exoplanet and clairvoyant bass see what i mean about the lyrics being very slow and like not really connected with the the rhythm that we've got going on in the instrumentals that's what a lot of the prog that i've listened to lately on this channel has been and that would explain a lot it's just something i don't like it doesn't make it bad it's so weird to me how i can like one thing that an artist does so much and then i hear something else and i'm like yeah this isn't really for me i'm not really feeling it ancient skills is my ep of the year last year but I'm not feeling it as much as that EP. I do want to make it clear that just because I don't like that style of prog doesn't mean that this is bad by any means. It's just something I don't like. And I have to clarify that because some people are going to take it as me saying that this is a bad album. 
which it's not. It's very good. It's super impressive. The vocals, the mix, everything is it's it's really, really good. It's just not really what I like at this moment in time. And I know Carmen and Yucca have have watched my other video, so they'll probably see this. So guys, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. It's just not for me. <laughs> I have to I have to clarify. Funky bass line. Let's go. See, I like this part more where the lyrics are more rhythmic. This is good. This is good. This is a good song. This is the first song I've really liked since, like, Paper Boats. <gasps> An acoustic guitar ballad. Sign me up. Y'all know I love me some acoustic guitar ballads. See, this is that really, like, long, sort of, these kinds of vocals. Now that I noticed this, I'm not gonna let it go. This is gonna bother me now. <laughs> yes! Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Keep it low. Keep it low. Keep building. Let it build. Don't come back too early. Oh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> This part is great. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is one of the best parts of the album. Are we gonna keep building to nothing? One more round, yes. Oh, we're building to we're building to a release. Here we go. Here we go. They could not have ended that more perfectly. That was a perfect outro track. What a conflicting album for me. Because there, there were a lot of parts there in the middle that had those those vocal things that I finally figured out that I didn't really like all that much. Then you have parts like that outro, man. And Nautilus. This is a conflicting album for me. I liked a lot of it, and then I also disliked some of it. It's interesting. I'll need to give this one a few more listens, and I'll update you all in an episode of... Corey cast. Yeah, those are my thoughts so far.